In this video, I will introduce you to the changes and improvements made to our script editor. If you're not familiar with PC Swim's Python script editor, it's a relatively new addition to PC Swim that allows users to create custom Python scripts to perform certain tasks not necessarily available through one of the existing PC Swim tools. Starting with the script editor toolbar, we have added a paste button for pasting copied scripts from the clipboard, a print button for printing an active script, a tiling button for showing more than one script in a window, a comment button for making one or more selected lines comments, a search button with an option to replace a word in the active script, a collapse button useful for developing larger scripts, a run and debug mode button, a stop button for stopping a script partway through in either debug or non-debug mode, line-by-line -line debugging buttons, including step into, step out, and step over, add and remove breakpoint buttons to pause script execution at specific lines when running in debug mode, and a menu button with options to import a script, save all edited scripts, and the ability to copy a script either as a compressed file or a normal text file. Other notable changes to the script interface includes the ability to open and edit multiple script files simultaneously, either tabbed, tiled, or floating, the ability to open a watch window and add variables, and a status bar displaying the total number of script files, debugging info, and the current cursor row and column numbers. The updated editor also provides a more powerful script manager that can organize Python files in a tree list by user-defined tags and groups. One file can have multiple tags, allowing it to be displayed in multiple groups. New Python classes have also been added, including PyForm for creating user interfaces to collect user input or present results, PyProfile for controlling the profile panel, PyNote for controlling project notes, Pi coordinate system for controlling map and layer coordinate systems, Pi progress bar for showing the run progress of a script in the PC Swim status bar, and Pi text message for sending cell phone text messages. For example, the following script has been set up for finding duplicate entities within a model layer or background layer. Included is a Pi form class which prompts a user to select the layer to check duplicates for and what action they wish to take. In this case, the options are to select duplicates, shift duplicates, or remove duplicates. I can also perform an analysis using third-party engines. For example, I can use a transient analysis tool created by the University of Texas at Austin to perform an analysis looking at the effects of turning off a valve in an existing EPA net model. When I do, I must first define an initial state, in this case the wave speed, as well as the simulation duration, time step, the demand type, either demand driven or pressure driven, initial time or when you want to start the simulation, and the friction model, options including steady state, quasi state, or unsteady. PC Swim will prompt additional user defined attributes to be created. I will click yes to create these attributes. Now when I click on the valve, you will see that there are additional attributes to set up the transient valve operation parameters. For this simulation, I will set the surge source to closed, the period to 0.1, and the closure to 1. After running the simulation, I can examine the results in the graph panel and see the effects of the transient specifically how the pressure changes over time and how the results converge to steady state over time. As you can tell, we are all excited about the new changes. We hope you like them just as much as we do. Thanks for watching!